Classical music and its effects on mental processes. Meet Ross and Rachel. They've just heard that they'll be having a daughter. Oh, look how happy they look. But wait, what's that, Ross? How will you ensure your daughter is just as smart as you and not Rachel? Oh, I hope Rachel didn't hear that. But you're right. Many parents actually do wonder the same thing. One of the most popular ideas is that making your children listen to classical music can make them smarter. Wow! You have to tell me more. A study by Rochester AL on undergraduate students who listened to classical music while studying tested their ability on spatial temporal reasoning tasks, which include being able to use mental processes to understand rotation of objects and spatial relations. They found an improvement in spatial temporal reasoning after listening to classical music in comparison to listening to nothing. They coined this term as the Mozart effect. Just like all the other simple fixes people are eager to try, the Mozart effect became widely popular as the media picked it up. Even though the effect was found for 10 to 15 minutes in undergraduate students, it led to the rationale that these short-term effects can become long-term through prolonged exposure especially among young children when brain plasticity is greatest as it may facilitate with the development of stronger neural connections leaving long-term benefits. This news led to the change in social policies such as distribution of Mozart's music to every baby born in Georgia, United States and the formation of an industry of music recordings designed to make infants smarter. Seem too good to be true? Maybe. These results were not easily replicable as many studies failed to repeat these results successfully. Despite the lack of scientific evidence, the Mozart effect remained popular within the media as it had already gained huge popularity. An alternative theory has been proposed over recent years as an arousal and mood hypothesis. Instead of suggesting that Mozart has a direct link to spatial temporal processing, Mozart could instead act as a stimulus to improve one's emotional mood and state, which in turn would improve their cognitive performance. A study attempted by Schellenberg investigated this hypothesis with a sample of 10 and 11 year olds. They were divided into three groups with different listening conditions and required to complete simple tasks. The first group would do the task after listening to a series of pop songs. The second group would do the task after listening to 10 minutes of Mozart. And the third group would listen to a recording of someone discussing the experiment with a journalist. Interestingly enough, the Mozart group performed no different than the other groups, but the pop music group performed better than expected. But could it be that the kids maybe didn't like Mozart? Well, exactly. If the arousal and mood hypothesis argues that the spatial temporal performance improves based on mood, then maybe the type of music required to help depends on the listener. In this experiment, contemporary pop music helped improve the mood of 10 and 11 year olds. In theory, it could be possible that listening to Justin Bieber may be more helpful than listening to Mozart. Hope you enjoyed yourself there, Ross. Now, although brain imaging studies were unable to replicate the Mozart effect, recent approaches, specifically in genomics, have been able to show a more detailed view of music's effect on cognition. Some studies have shown an association where there was an upregulation in dopamine by listening to music. This is interesting and may show an explanation for the Mozart effect as dopamine plays a key role in executive functioning, arousal, and reward-seeking behavior. Therefore, maybe the effects of music and its associated increase in dopamine may allow you to properly focus your attention at the task at hand, thus increasing productivity. But will it make someone smarter? That seems rather unlikely, at least right now with the current literature. Don't worry Ross, right now there might not be an answer. But hey, a little bit of Mozart's symphony never hurt anyone, right? Sure beats the new stuff kids are listening to these days.